Hello, welcome to BAP Talk. We're here at the Queen Sirikit National Convention Center. And I'd like to welcome you all to our speaker, uh, Arwin Reamilo, the very exciting uh, artist from the Philippines. Welcome, Arwin. I'm pleased to be here, yeah. uh, Pinan. So, uh, Arwin has been working so hard for this uh, new work of his, uh, which we will talk later. But uh, tell me, Alvin, you've been, you've been almost living in Thailand for the yes. past two uh, and a half months. Yes, right? yes. I uh, had a good experience of traveling to the south and also further north yes. and to the northeast. Yes. So, and been very active with the local uh, arts community with yes. uh, performance festivals, exhibitions mm -hmm. at the Mango Art Fest. Yes. So, it's a well, well, uh, kind of uh, a good opportunity, really yeah. a good opportunity to immerse. But you are accustomed uh, with Thai artists, oh, yes. and you know many, many friends here yes. uh, with the groups Vasan, yes. Chumpon. So yes. these are not uh, new names yes. or new friends. Yes. So it's like cementing, uh, yes. retouching. Uh, we we share a lot of commonalities yes, uh, from yes. the experience in the Philippines and Thailand. So I think uh, it's a, it was really a great opportunity to reconnect with people. Yes. And yes. Uh, we're now talking about ideas for projects in the near future. Good, so, good, yeah. good. Now, in terms of this particular work, uh, thank you so much for working so hard over the past uh, almost a year. Yes. When we talked about Bangkok yes. Art Biennale, the yes. third edition, on the theme of Chaos Calm, yes. and how you proposed the idea and presenting what, actually, in fact, you've been doing for the past 20, yes. 30 years. Yes. This uh, presentation of uh, many layers yes. of, of symbiosis, yes. you know, all the meanings, that uh, whether it be uh, colonization, yes. migration, or globalization, in context of your work, and and really the, the outcome is so amazing, and, mm -hmm. and it's, it has so many comments, mm -hmm. whether it be uh, going back to the past, mm -hmm. uh, since 400 years of uh, occupation, mm -hmm. colonization by the Spaniards, or up to this very day, mm -hmm. where the actual problem I think it's a <laughs> continuing story. It's a continuing story. So, uh, so whether it be how you use the name, colonization, migration, mm. uh, Catholicism, or mm. even you know the present day new mm. new, new world disorder, mm. it's mm. the same recycling Cyc cycles yeah. Yeah. of uh, I say human human uh, uh, flaws and tragedies and tragedies. Yeah. Uh, we keep repeating some of our historical mistakes, mm. and I think that that's a basic human flaw, uh, mm. which it would be good to reflect on. You yeah. know, uh, yeah. Yeah. and it's almost like uh, this idea of a regurgitation. Yes, you know, coming up again and again, but never learn the lesson. <sighs> I wish we could learn, and I think this is where art uh, is plays an important role mm. because mm. it brings back a kind of framing of, mm. of looking at the world. Mm -hmm. Uh, a lot of what's happening now with present globalization, especially with social media, mm -hmm. we no longer determine which is real and which is not real. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it needs to be a, cl a clarity again of, of thinking. Yes, and yes. I think many people also within our globalized world, we lose that kind of capacity of thinking. Mm -hmm. yeah. But uh, there's so many comfort zones you know, in this world, whether through media or and, or and the amnesia mm -hmm. or memory mm -hmm. or, the, or the ability to to eat, mm -hmm. delete and the elitist view of uh, the world is quite different to, to those who are suffering mm -hmm. and in context of uh, your works uh, I think this particular work uh, has so many layerings mm -hmm. that people when they come to see it mm -hmm. uh, they confront certain uh, stereotypical images like mm -hmm. the Last Supper, mm -hmm. but when they see other mm -hmm. layerings uh, hidden mm -hmm. or exposed, uh, it's like multiple layers mm -hmm. uh, glittering mm -hmm. and then dispersing. Mm -hmm. So people stand there and, and they, they're bombarded. With there is a kind of deliberate way of uh, using uh, 
a very familiar image, mm. like from our history, mm. the, the biblical image of the mm. Last Supper, a mm. tableau. Mm. But uh, I'm also kind of aiming at drawing people to peer in, get closer to mm. the work, and see those multi-layers mm. in, in the work. Mm. Because it tells a different story. Yes. So course. what appears from a certain perspective looks different when you go through and peer through yes. the, the material. Yes. Yes. Even. And you talk of the the theme, for example, the the Last Supper, or the the name that you use. Yes, uh, the Apotecaria. Yes. Jena, yes. Which can have other meanings. Yes. You know the the trickery of the words or the play of the words. There 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 is for this version. Uh, remember when we first did a version of this? This was uh, in the 1999 uh, before the millennium. Yes. Yes. So the millennium also marks the. 2,000 years of Christian time, mm, of, of mm, Christ, mm. Of, of the domination of the mm, world mm. by the Western powers. Mm. Uh, but this one, kind of uh, 23 years later, kind of uh, brings that cycle again. Mm. We, we are now faced with the recent pandemic. Mm. And it's going to, I think it's not going to stop. It's going mm. to bring in more... I, I don't want to... I want to be hopeful, but, mm. but I'm also realistic that there will be bigger challenges coming, you know, more, more diseases mm. uh, cropping up, mm. hopefully not wars, but it will happen mm. because mm. of that human, uh, I think, failure mm. to, to see things, mm. you know. Uh, Some people say the 21st century actually start now. Yes, yes. Because, you know, the yes. numbers of the years, yes. 2000, 2001, yes. uh, people may look at it that way, yes. the, the new millennium. But after 20 years of yes. the 21st century, yes. we're actually tasting yes. the bitterness of what we've actually, humankind, actually yes. created over, over the centuries. Maybe even the, the construct of the Western time might be problematic exactly. Exactly. because it had different time systems in different cultures in the world. Yes. 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 But the cycles of nature, I think, is, uh, is uh, more predictable. Mm. But now it's also changing because mm. of... Uh, what we're doing on the planet, you know, yeah. we, we see that in climate change mm. at the moment. Mm. You know. Climate change again is something yes. that uh, also appear yes. uh, in, in many of your your works. Yes. But but uh, please please extrapolate in terms of uh, the use of the Last Supper and then the layerings of these, you know, politicians. Yes, you know how it's what? it's a tableau. Uh -huh. It's a tableau of power. Uh, it also represents the high point of the mass in mm. in, in Christian culture. Mm. So supper, the, the Christian, uh, what they call it, cult, the early Christian cults. Mm. It was a community representing a community of sharing. Mm. At the mm. time, the dominant power was the Roman Empire, mm. and then the Jewish state. Mm. So Christ was a kind of revolutionary yeah. figure. Yeah. I think the changes happened when Constantine, the emperor, mm. was converted to Christianity mm, mm, mm. and appropriated a lot of the Roman culture. Mm, so mm. Christianity has been corrupted. And, and that corruption, I'm, I'm looking at the same story of the, uh, the use of religion uh, uh, in our story of colonization and how this was used to to destroy culture also, mm, mm. Filipino culture, bring to Christianize and to uh, civilize. Mm, there was mm. a, that what the, called the white man's burden. Mm, and this mm. was replicated in another layer when the Americans came over to mm. the Philippines for 50 years. So the white man's burden has many shades. And in terms of uh, Catholicism, for example, uh, when Catholicism took over the Philippines, uh, before that, there are many beliefs, you know, animism, uh, localism, for example, the idea of the mixing of religion and, yes. and local beliefs. Uh, I remember experience of Black Nazarene, mm -hmm. for example, mm -hmm. whereby beliefs are like intermingled and, mm -hmm. and become hybrids. Mm -hmm. And the word hybrids, I think, is very much your, yes. your theme. Also. Because, because Philippine culture, I don't think it's a fixed culture, mm -hmm. the formation of the nation state is never fixed. It's mm. a very unstable formation. We're still, I don't think the Philippines is a, uh, a modern, we're not a nation yet. Mm. 
we pretend to be a nation, mm -hmm. but if you look at the contradictions of Philippine society where there's so much disparity between those who have mm -hmm. and those who have not, mm -hmm. there's uh, poverty, corruption, mm -hmm. that's an, I don't call that a nation. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. these works are kind of reflects on that uh, process mm -hmm. of, of becoming, but, but we, before we can become something, we have to understand what, mm. what, what, what came before. Mm -hmm. and, and we're still grappling with, with that complex uh, mm. uh, situation in our politics, mm. in our economy. Mm. You know, we've undergone strongman rule. Mm. I think mm. Mm. even colonization is also a formation of, uh, you know, strongmen of, mm. of uh, stratifying power structures, mm -hmm. which up to now is still there in the Philippines. Yes, yes. Now, please tell me about the details of the mm. work. You know, once you confront this uh, image, like in this case, Last Supper, or you may call it uh, the, the last uh, chemical or medicinal mm. su supper. Mm. But the details, for example, the use of the crabs, mm. the use of the, you know, all kinds of animals, uh, these uh, locusts, or mm. other ideas of uh, the layerings or the uh, multi layerings mm -hmm. of these uh, the, portraits. The, the ground is really kind of replicating like Western or Italian painting. So I, it's underlayered with fabric material, mm. found material. Mm. So in the central panel, you have a fabric material of uh, Disney characters. Mm. Mm. So this was the base of the <laughs> whole work. On the left side and the right side are Chinese uh, imagery. Mm. And I'm, I'm interested in that kind of shift from from the U.S. hegemony of the last century, mm -hmm. and now the shifting towards uh, you know the power of China. Mm -hmm. So this set the the base, and then we put in the transfer of the Last Supper. Of uh, I think it was originally came from a, a very old calendar, Italian in origin, and then transferred. So you get this multi layering of. You know, they're like tattoos underneath. Mm. So mm. Th there's a doubling already in that mm. sense. Mm. And then the succeeding layers would be objects, mm. different mm. objects like the, uh, the grasshopper, bottles that pretend to be medicine, but, mm. but they're also like illegal drugs <laughs> filled with money. Mm. So money is supposed to cure, but mm. actually money is the source exactly. of some of the exactly. problem of, you know, the, the, com the complex problems that capitalism mm. and consumer culture mm. brings to, to the planet. Uh, so these are all the multi-layers. If you, I, I'd also like to think that if you go to Manila, you see this kind of chaos of, mm. of all different things, multiple strands of things and meanings, uh, which sometimes maybe from an outsider would be difficult to decipher because mm. mm. it's just a yeah. detritus yeah. of all these things. Mm which already speaks of the complex layerings of what happened in, in, you know, in now in globalization. Mm, mm. There, there seems to be no order. Right, it's, right. It appears to present order, but I don't think mm. we're really getting near to fixing mm. the problems of the body, of, of the body politic. Mm, you know. So in fact, uh, this work can reflect the, the disorder of, of the new world order. You, you, we talk about the objects like the Grass Supper mm. in the biblical sense. Mm. The Grass Supper manifests the pestilence, mm. you know, the, because uh, in, in the story of Moses, you know, these were signs from heaven. Mm. Uh, mm. But in certain cultures also, the morphology of the Grass Supper share, shares the same shape of the cricket. Mm. Uh, if, if the locust and the Grass Supper means pestilence and eating up of mm. the healthy environment. Mm. On the other side, the cricket, which can also play on the cricket character of Pinocchio, <laughs> yes. who is the moral voice mm. of, of the conscience mm. of, of Pinocchio, mm. you know? And at the same time, they are seen as nocturnal insects that make music. Mm. So very different, uh, it shares the same morphology, same with the butterfly mm. and the, the moth. Mm. The moth, is both a uh, portent of uh, omen of evil or death. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and the butterfly often, in, even in Western culture, it represents rebirth. Yeah. So, yeah. But these are two, two faces always. Mm -hmm. I guess it follows the, the, the framework and the concept of chaos and calm, mm -hmm. you know, the birthing and ah. the death. These are part of the whole, mm -hmm. the whole picture, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. 
So in fact, you're using the the binary opposites, but in fact, you you merge them. The 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 chaos has to 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 be with calm, and, and then vice versa. and it becomes a hybrid formation. Mm. When it becomes a hybrid formation, we we can actually we can be empowered to decide mm. and to think critically mm. of what it's saying. Mm. You know, mm. this this attention in there, mm -hmm. so it doesn't have to be. Uh, guided by even by you know uh, by text mm. because mm. You, you you see you, and then you try to reflect mm. on on the objects mm. and what it means. Mm. Mm. But your work not only talk about past, present, but future. You mentioned already that uh, you you feel that COVID is not ending, so it's like a premonition also that is looking ahead with with a little bit of uh, you know pessimism, a little bit of you know care as well as uh, you have to be careful where you threat in the future. I think that makes us more critical, mm. uh, you know, actively critical. If mm. we, we're aware and we're informed, mm. we're informed of what happened in the past, mm. what's happening now, mm. and so we can prepare for, for the future. Mm. And I think art has the capacity to, to speak in that kind of language, mm -hmm. you know. Mm. Uh, yeah, because it, it uses symbolic, uh, you know, forms, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then it's, it's never fixed. So, but I think the challenge for every artist is to make uh, an image uh, compelling enough mm -hmm. and, and draw people to, to reflect on, the, mm -hmm. on what it's saying. Mm -hmm. So this, this cabinet form, you know, where, where display of uh, chemical, medicinal, uh, political, so it's like a display where, where, where you can enjoy certain segments. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, the, the, the message, the main message you're, you're saying is that uh, whether it be Christ disciples or leading politicians, mm. uh, they shift and change all the time. For example, yes. when you were working, uh, many political leaders actually change. Yes, yes. They change, but they also are constant. <laughs> so we, we need to have maybe a, affect some change that can really uh, alter mm. you know, the way mm. the world is going. Mm. Mm. We, maybe we need more uh, moral leaders mm. Mm. who are really committed mm. uh, on on ch on social change. Mm. Mm. Maybe contribute in in uh, easing up some of our because we, we're kind of in a critical stage mm. on, on the planet, mm. you know, mm. and we, we're feeling it. The, the climate, mm. Mm. Uh, we're feeling the floods, mm. we're feeling the uh, all these natural mm. disasters. Mm. Uh, so, so I think that the, the change, if if there's change, we need to choose the right leaders, mm -hmm. uh, hold our leaders accountable to, mm -hmm. you know, to what mm -hmm. they uh, do as, as policy makers. Mm -hmm. yeah. you know. So this work actually uh, reflect also presence. Like you also have your, your existing uh, president. Yes. Who has the same name as his. Uh, yes. And you also have uh, our Thai leaders. Yes. Uh, so yes. it's hidden in there. Yes. So it's like a historical piece. Because it's, yes. <laughs> it, for me, I think this is also, you're correct, it's a historical work, oh, yeah. uh, historical art in a sense, but not, not in a fixed way. Mm. But mm. it's both actually, that's, that's the uh, paradox. Mm. It's fixed, but it's also changing. Mm. You know? Because when, when we opened uh, Bangkok Art Benale, uh, just before the APEC, summit meeting yes. which happened actually two floors up upstairs yes and we were you know jokingly thinking that yes. you know, the the leaders might come down and yes, take a look we were hoping <laughs> that really I, wa I want to see the president see himself in, in the picture and you know we have i call it the the marcos uh, zuckerberg presidency <laughs> because you know social media has a lot to do with uh, mm. how we vote now mm, of course yes of course. okay so um in this context, uh, I, I look at your works and I think of uh, your friend's work, for example, Vasan Sijike, mm. who also enjoys uh, mm. puppetry mm. and political figures mm. doing shadow plays, and you've done puppetry mm. in the yes, past also. Yes, yes. So you, you plan to work with, with him in the future? We, we are talking about an exhibition next year. Mm. Um, he works in Rebel Space. Yes. I'd like to celebrate uh, ASEAN rebel artists, <laughs> <laughs> people who, who want to also... It's a long list. <laughs> yeah, it's a long list. So, but very interesting because we don't have that clear representation of 
the importance of artists in in our societies mm. you know mm. well at least i speak for the philippines mm. I, I i think the arts is still uh kind of really neglected mm. but you know mm. we have our heroes who are intellectuals and artists mm. 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 but again this is again the the dilemma of the philippines mm. because all all the people who try to lead and and lead in in the way in in lead in making us think differently i think uh we still are failing mm. so i think but we continue on you know mm. uh, th there's a need to to continue on and reflect on on the work of uh, those people yes. you know. okay thank you so much thank, you, thank, thank you. you for your time and uh, we look forward very much to to welcome you back yes. and you have many plans that you will come back to Thailand and, yes. and it's been an exciting time to have you here yes and congratulations and thank you thank you thank, thank you so you. much thank you thank you thank you so much for listening to our web talk see you next time